content creators, do you ever just like run out of content ideas or motivation to film and record? Well, that is me. As I plan my wedding and figure out my life and take on some new clients, I am just so tired and not motivated to film for YouTube. So I did a week in the life vlog. I enjoy watching those. I hope you will enjoy a week that is full of my life and let's go take a peek. Good morning everyone. It is 12 24 a.m. and I've been out for the last way too long, a couple hours. I laid down to go to bed like two hours ago, but up stressing about things that literally do not matter in the end, but here I am. So here's the start of the week. Happy Sunday. Good morning. Good morning everyone. Happy Sunday. I'm just waking up a little late. Yesterday I slept like 12 hours. So today's not as late as yesterday. Um, yeah, I couldn't sleep last night because I've just been stressed about a lot of things and sometimes this happens where my mind gets really fixated on things and I can't do anything but think about those things and sometimes they're super not important and sometimes they can be but I'm hoping that I can kind of reset today and not be up so late like last night. Anyway, today is super gloomy. Here is the gloom of the day. Yesterday was so sunny and now it's just rainy and cloudy. So let's see if we can redeem this. With the weather and how I'm feeling, today is going to be a reset Sunday. I have a full thing of laundry to do right there. I have some personal things I want to take care of, clean my room, go through some stuff. So that is what this dreary Sunday is going to be. But I'm going to go get ready. First thing I'm going to do for my reset Sunday before I even get dressed is I'm going to have some coffee, try to eat breakfast. Sometimes I struggle with eating breakfast, especially when I get out of a good like eating routine. So sometimes when I eat too early, I don't feel well, but I need to get something in my body. And then I'm going to journal. I have some journals by, or this journal by In Bloom by Emily. She's really great. I'm pretty sure she's from Massachusetts, which is super cool. She is from Massachusetts. Um, and yeah, I've been getting more into journaling and it's been really nice. So let's go get my Nespresso, my pen, and something to eat. So I am genuinely so in love with Nespresso. Um, this is probably like 200 pods still. I was just gone for two weeks. But the thing is, I've run out of my favorite, which is Melozio. Um, I only have Melozio decaf, which I might not even have any more of. And that's a big problem. So I gotta go place a new order, even though I have so many. There's just things that I don't love to drink on a daily basis or that are seasonal. For example, like this is... Infinite fruity and it was like a holiday flavor this was a holiday flavor of um, gingerbread I have this whiskey essence which I haven't even tried yet um, what else do I've got the one I haven't tried that I'm like truly afraid to try is this watermelon so I might try this this afternoon juicy watermelon over ice I can't even imagine what that's gonna taste like Anyway, I need to order new ones, and so I like to order with my sister-in-law so that I can do kind of like a bulk order and then an unboxing. So I need to get more of my Melozio. Oh, there we go. Is this one? Ah, yes, the last decaf Melozio. So I'll make this, and hopefully it's enough caffeine for the day. <laughs> So here you can do today's mood on a scale of 1 to 10, date, time, adjective to describe how I'm feeling, what's my intention for the day, reflect on yesterday, stream of conscious writing, and then what I'm grateful for, which I love because every day we should focus on what we're grateful for. I've got my coffee and my Bible and we are in Romans right now. So here is the outfit we landed on. I have this sweater that I got for creating content for an Amazon seller. My Blush Babe Co. flare jeans and some booties that I've had since college that I got from probably a Goodwill. But yeah, that's the outfit. I know that it's 
reset Sunday, but I'm trying to still put myself together rather than stay in sweats all day. So time to move on to some filming for social media management. So it is a rainy day and I had a huge craving for one of my favorite donuts that I get from a local donut spot called Jumbo's Donuts. It's a 24 hour full breakfast all day, every day. I've been going there since I was a teenager. So let's hope that this afternoon they have that donut. So I got a sausage, egg and cheese on a jalapeno bagel, jalapeno cheddar bagel. And then I did get a donut. It's not the one that I wanted. This is actually an iteration of the one I wanted. I wanted a vanilla cream and just vanilla cream filled, but this has jelly in it, which I'm not super confident because I don't like jelly donuts, but I love this cream. So I figured I would try it because it was the closest thing we could get. Now, I don't want to like bite into this now because I want to eat my savory. But this is what the inside looks like. As you can see, jelly, cream. Still a good flavor. So we are playing our favorite game, which is Dutch Blitz. It is a wonderful good game, and it's basically just card stacking, but we like it. Happy Monday night, everyone. So today was a great day. I had a, what we call a discovery call with a potential new client. Um, I'm just so thankful because a year ago, I had no clients. A year ago, I had no potential clients. So regardless of the outcome, the call went fantastic. Now I'm just going to send the rates and see if they accept them. And here's hoping that the partnership works out really well. And that's a night. Happy Tuesday, everyone. I woke up massively late, so I barely got myself together. Still got to go get ready for the day. I have a really important uh, meeting today for just a potential job opportunity. Um, I do have a really good job right now. It's not something that I'm like, oh, I'm so passionate and in love with this, but it allows me the life that I'm trying to work towards with freedom, liberty to work from home, good pay. Um, the work is very manageable for me. So I'm hoping that through this conversation, one, I either commit to the job I have and I'm, I learn to be content with it or take a step towards something I'm very passionate about. It's complicated. It's a complicated thing to process. Um, but yesterday I had a meeting with someone regarding social media management. So I just want to show you a little bit of what I did yesterday. So I set up a discovery call document and on this document I just put um, all the basic intake questions. Intake is like so from my, from my um, counseling studies. But Anyway, so the discovery call will break down just introduction, give me your backstory, give my backstory, um, why social media matters, what your needs are, hopes, goals, dreams, who your team is, and then just going from there to build the different tiers uh, based on what their needs are. Because everybody has a different need, social media platform, expectation, quantity of posts, quality of posts, video versus still images, and all that. So, yeah. So I just got home from my meeting. I think it went really well. We'll see how it goes in the end. <sighs> Hopefully we'll have a really cool update in just a few weeks. Happy Wednesday everyone. Today is just a normal work day and then I have a group at my local church. We're just hanging out at my office slash bedroom. Hopefully we'll do a few more things like clean my room today, but have a great day. We are heading to the mailbox because there's supposed to be a package there, so let's go check it out. So I just recorded this unpacking video and it was not facing the right direction, classic. So I'm gonna redo it. It's gonna be an unconstructed, deconstructed unpacking video. So it came in this, hello, I'm a 100 
100% compostable bag, which I love. I actually buy brand, um, mailers that are 100% compostable for my brand, and it's very cool to be on the receiving end of someone who values the same thing. I ordered swimsuits, and they all came in this very cute bag, so that was a bonus. Packaging, 10 out of 10. Love that. Super cute. And now I will show you the swimsuits I got. So I'm going to my honeymoon in Barbados in September and I wanted bathing suits for this summer and then when I go so I started with a white bathing suit here is the top super cute top padded with this ring in the center with a floral design double strap in the back which I think is really cute and then of course the matching bottoms that have the ring as well and then we have this color purple which is my favorite I love 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 purple I love this color um, and so we have just a triangle top with pads. I'm sure they're removable. They're always removable these days. Maybe not. I don't know. I have to play around with that. Maybe they're not. I don't know. Okay. And then with the little crisscross in the back and the bottoms to match. Super cute. Super excited to wear these. Hopefully I'll wear them throughout the summer. And then I'm ready. So I am in Boston. Um, I work here for a half day. And... <laughs> sunscreen for a couple weeks so it's definitely time to get them redone and at this point I'm always like itching to get them off and when they're redone I don't feel that way but right now I'm like I just want to pull them off but you can't because they're your nails anyway um let's go get our nails done happy Friday everyone yesterday I went into Boston to get my nails done and then have dinner at Oliveira's here are my nails um, they came out pretty good um got some bleeding though when she was doing my nails so that was unfortunate and painful but whatever I'm moving soon so I'm probably going to need to find a new salon anyway so yeah now we're just working I'm gonna see my friend afterwards and that's Friday and we're almost towards the end of this whole weekly vlog did a mini haul from Lee Reef and Luke Co. They are a small business, love supporting small businesses. So this is the first thing I got is this sweater. The sweater weather. If you know me, I love the fall. They call this the summer sweater, which honestly, the short sleeves, super cute and perfect for that transition into the fall. Come on, folks. So cute. And I love that it's just cropped enough. Like that's so cute. So this is their Cora set. I absolutely love it. I'm wearing a dark bra, so I'd have to change that. No pockets, which honestly I'm okay with because it helps the fabric lay a little more flat. Super cute, cropped. I'm in love with anything cropped. Super flowy pants, super soft. Honestly, you could wear just the pants as like a bathing suit cover up. And it gives you butt an automatic butt lift. Like how, I can't even believe it. It's perfect. Super excited about this one. And the last thing I got are these shorts. So cute and exactly what I was expecting them to look like. Great color, which does not show as well on here. The belt is removable, so you can swap it out for whatever belt you want. It does have pockets here. Yeah, they're just gorgeous. And they remind me a little bit of like Brazil style. So I love that. And these are so cute. Can't wait to wear them all summer. Long and then in Barbados.
happy Saturday. So I went to Boston um, and got to see my fiance. We went out. Yeah, we just spent a little time, got some sushi, which was horrible. And then we went shopping a little bit. Now he's at work and I'm doing work for my social media management business. And then I'm just gonna relax, clean my room, and enjoy the rest of my Saturday night. So that is my week in the life. If you like content like this, let me know. I would be happy to create more vlogs like this. Or if you just have content creation ideas and you wanna help me out, drop them down below. I would be happy, happy, happy for any of your ideas and we will talk soon.